Hey, what's up, guys? It's Slick, or Slick Muff here, back again with another video. Wanted to give my thoughts on Raven and Titan. So I've talked about Robin, I've, or, yeah, I've talked about everybody, really. Uh, but I want to go into more depth. Um, I've talked the most about Starfire, just how laughably terrible she looks. <laughs> uh, rightfully so, you know, I, everybody agrees with me. Not, obviously, everybody, that's hyperbolic, but <laughs> in large part to <laughs> anyway okay let's move on let's talk about um raven so a lot of people i've seen have been sort of giving her shit um i think that uh, grace randolph too who who i respect and uh, fun fact i almost did a podcast with her i don't know if she remembers that because it was like two or three years ago but that's actually true um anyway so you know i watch her videos um, you know, about the topics that interest me, you know, namely, you know, the DC and Marvel world and that kind of stuff. And, um, in the case of, of her thoughts on Raven, I, she said that, you know, she looked too middle America or just didn't really look the part. She didn't buy her as Raven. Um, which I can totally see, but, and also I think she said something about the hair. So the blue hair, I think really completes the look and, and makes her really look like Raven. In regards to just the actress and whether or not I buy her, I really do buy her as Raven. Now, that, of course, is just me, and I totally understand, um, you know, and respect her opinion. In my case, though, I really, you know, when I see her, I do I do see Raven. You know, I think she looks um, solid in the role, and, and quite, you know, frankly, I think she looks quite good, just not in the, in the James Gunn type of way, of course. So, <laughs> sorry, I had to throw that in there. I crack myself up sometimes, so I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, so... I mean, it's just fresh. I had to do it. You know, what is that? Like three days old? Okay, anyway. So, you know, I don't really have any complaints about her. The only thing that I would really hope to see is a comics, uh, a comic accurate sort of portrayal of her, um, of her look in regards to having, you know, the hoodie and the, the super goth and emo. And, and they're definitely going for that because, you know, they're like, sometimes when the darkness takes over me. I like it, and I'm not sure if that's, like, the tween, like, emo fan base appeal, or if that's actually, you know, allusions to Trigon or something like that. I mean, I don't know. You just have to wait and see. Um, but overall, I mean, I guess it's kind of a quick video. I I've got to be honest with you. I think that Raven is the most promising out of all of the Titans in regards to how she looks. Um, Robin looks really good, though, I, you know, t to be completely honest with you, especially in regards to his suit. You know, the actor... Um, I guess is convincing enough, you know, it's, it's really hard to see and tell, especially when the only line we've seen from him is, fuck Batman, uh, for the most part, and, um, you know, I don't buy him as Dick Grayson, I suppose I buy him as some Robin type figure or something, I don't know, like, it, it's really, really tough to tell and, until we see, it, you know, is he actually comedic, is he fun um is he dick grayson at all does he resemble the character even in the slightest because from here it, i don't see it necessarily regards of physical uh, excluding a physical resemblance i do see the physical resemblance in regards to how he acts not at all so we'll just have to wait and see there um beast boy and starfire i will say that i think it's funny that they were both included in the trailer very very little and it's for obvious reasons, because they require CGI, and Raven and Dick Grayson largely do not when they're in their normal state. And because of that, they're going to get a lot more screen time in the in their natural state. Also, I worry to some degree if it's going to be a true ensemble piece. Is the show really going to be an ensemble show? If not, what's the point in doing Teen Titans? Let's just do, you know, spinoff. I'd gladly watch a Raven show. I would gladly watch a Dick Grayson show. I would gladly watch... A Starfire show, just not with the Starfire we have now, because I don't see Starfire when I look at her. Um, I would perhaps watch a Beast Boy show. People really, really like that character. For me, he's my least favorite of the of the Titans. So I'll just say, broadly, out of the four, in terms of ranking my favorites out of them, I would probably say um, Starfire's number one, Robin, then Raven, and then and then Beast Boy. Um, but of course I like all the characters just fine, I'm, I'm just saying, um, he's not like my favorite. So, in any case, I think that there's a lot to explore with Raven and Robin and a solo adventure season, whatever. If it turns out to be that everybody's just doing their own thing and it's like, oh, we're not going to include Beast Boy because he's green and he's a lot of CGI to do, 
it's just kind of one of those things, why did you even make the show? You know, Titans is an ensemble cast kind of dynamic, and we'll just have to wait and see if they deliver on that. So yeah, I just wanted to say, give my thoughts. Raven looks very, uh, looks great in the role, I think, and, um, you know, once again, not in the James Gunn type of way, but <laughs> she's uh, promising, and I think that she'll do well in the role. Um, however, you know, whoever the actress is, I don't know exactly who she is. But anyway, I'm sure she'll do great. You know, I just wanted to give my thoughts on, on her on her look. And I'll have videos coming out giving my thoughts more in depth on the other three. Maybe not Starfire, because I've talked about her so much. But Robin and Beast Boy, I'll get my thoughts on um, how they're looking in the show. Okay, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. My name is Slick Moth. I'll see you guys in the next one.